This is the third and final day of Overland Expo 2009. This is Bill Green from Prescott, Arizona. Today we're going to speak with Roseanne Hansen, director of Overland Expo, and take a look around the XP Camper, see what it's about, see what the hype is about. Mark, tell me about the XP Camper. Where did the idea come from? Well, I wanted a lightweight, uh, low-profile camper, which you can take out for a long time in the, in the wilderness, hang out for, you know, a month, six weeks, uh, have a really secure shell in it, mm -hmm. lots of storage, it's basically, you know, that's basically the idea behind it. You can put on any truck. Um, the idea was to use any truck out there already, convert it to a camper, and uh, go have fun. What are some of the major features of it? Lightweight, um, very compact when you drive it. Mm -hmm. um, it's very airy inside. It's looks it's kind of like a loft-like feeling. You can um, you have a tent in the front, so you get like to bring the nature in from the outside. But if you really want to, you can put some hot side panels up and you have a hot side camper in the end. It's a composite camper. It's the only one ever built in America. Mm -hmm. It's a monocoque design. Um, very light, very strong. Mm -hmm. We put a lot of carbon fiber and Kevlar in there. Um, it's basically leak-proof, there's no seams anywhere. Mm -hmm. And we integrated a lot of uh, unique and new technology in this camper. Uh, it's the only proper camper ever built with all diesel appliances. Um, there's no propane on board at all. You can get it if you want to, but I don't see the point in it. Mm -hmm. uh, it runs on solar power. Um, we have AGM batteries in there. We use all marine hardware inside, um, marine panels in it. Try and hit the, the flag there with your inside tire. One of the main draws of Overland Expo 2009 has been the driver training course. Drivers from all skill levels and all backgrounds learn to pilot their vehicles of all shapes and sizes over obstacles commonly found in expedition travel. You don't want the momentum to push you out when you come around the edge of the curve, right? Graham Jackson, director of Overland Training, was on hand to help the new students through the obstacle course and help them out of sticky situations when the need arose. We're here with Roseanne Hansen, director of Overland Expo. Roseanne, Overland Expo 2009 seems like it's been an amazing success. What do you think? Oh, it's been an incredible success. Uh, everyone I've talked to from vendors to participants to the public coming in has just been thrilled. And mm -hmm. when we started, we didn't know if this was going to fly with the economy and, and everything. And, and I think that it really speaks to this growing market segment. I mean, we, we are a new industry. Mm -hmm. uh, and people are so excited about it. What's next for Overland Expo? Uh, I think growing in quality, if, mm -hmm. if not quantity, although I, we filled up uh, capacity for vendors and participants so you know we don't want to get too big but we want to bring in more uh, of the general public what would you tell people who are thinking of coming next year oh be prepared to have the time of your life people haven't stopped grinning all weekend and uh, be prepared to launch into some really great adventures well, Roseanne thanks so much for talking to thanks, us Jim. I think this has been a great event I can't wait to see what next year brings thank you well, that wraps up Overland Expo 2009. It's been a stellar event for everyone involved, both attendees and vendors alike. In the coming weeks, we'll have videos available from all of our interviews in their full length.